style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. Is that way already recording? We're recording now. Okay. Did you, uh, since this is the first time we're doing this, did you, you got the, okay, I see you got the script held up in front of us. Okay, good. Yeah, All read right. off that prompt. Go ahead. You guys, you start. Welcome to Weapons Most Ominous, the best new podcast. Can you bring the scripts closer towards us? I can't really. Yeah, I'm scooting it. I just scooted it closer to us. Okay. You see it now? Yeah. Um, this is the first episode of a new podcast on this channel, and I'm very excited to be um, the Hold co-host. On. Hold on. Check, 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 check. Do that real quick. Check, 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 check. This is staying in audience, by the way, just to see how You're raw we are. peaking really bad. I'm peaking really bad. We are. Look how big our... Look how I, I ain't peaked yet, brother. Are. You ain't peaked yet? I have not peaked yet. I should go listen to that back. But I could just fix it in post. I'll just turn it down. That's post. fine, yeah. Uh, Jamie, fix this in post. Yeah, Jamie. Bit. Put this on Jamie. Guys, welcome to the Weapons Most Ominous. This is a new podcast. This is our. This will probably be our greatest podcast, actually. Um, Groundbreaking. This is your host, Dylan and uh, Eli. I'm the co-host. I'm basically the show's Hannibal Burris. He's Hannibal. Yeah, he's Hannibal. I will I'm be here. as... This, you know, when people look back at this show, they'll probably relate it to, like... An Eric Andre type show, for yeah, sure. Yeah, they'll say like for sure. Yeah, these, if, if not like these guys better. are Eric Andre, Adam Bre- Adam Freeland. They'll yeah. we'll be up there. We'll be on the Mount Rushmore. We'll be the same podcast as them. You know, um, be looking out for our Twitter account where we're going to be DMing everybody who follows us and uh, thanking them personally. So yeah, you'll probably notice that you're also as a listener getting to if you're if you're watching the video. Um, there's a classic baseball game on right now. Um, I thought with this podcast, because this podcast is just going to be a, a kind of a BS and po- podcast, whatever we want to talk about. Um, wait, but I was like, wait, wait, hold dude. on. No, hold on. What? I thought we decided this was going to be in like underground indie rap review podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of MF Doom? Uh, I was thinking more along the lines of like ASAP Ferg. Yeah, like him, Future, Drake. I was <laughs> all those underground guys. Yeah. It's <laughs> like um, Drake and Lucy Vert and all those guys. They're yeah. so underground. Nobody knows who they are. Yeah, we should bring light to them. But no, I want to show them. I, I, I got to tell them about these old baseball games and stuff. Go, go I, I always felt, I was like, it's so sad that like after a baseball game or a, you know. Think about how many games. Eli's choking on a drink right now, by the way. <laughs> think about how many games. Tearing up over the first podcast. Were like throughout history were broadcast one time and then never. No one ever is tuned in back on. I think it's kind of sad. So I thought our listeners could enjoy a classic ball game. I think today is a 1984. I think Montreal versus somebody. I can't remember. Baltimore, baby. Pittsburgh, baby. That's cool. I mean, um, we can talk about this after the show. We don't have to do this right now. But <laughs> I, I was thinking, um, <laughs> since this is like an indie rap breakdown and analysis, kind of like the needle drop. Um, we're big Anthony Fantano fans. We are. We're, we're two quirked up white boys. We love Anthony Fantano. We love Anthony Fantano. Um, I was thinking maybe we could have like a... He does bad reviews sometimes. Yeah, I just... I, we'll, we'll talk about it after. I just don't know if the baseball show is the, the, the best thing for this, but... What you, know. you been doing lately? Uh, shit, man. I've been... I've been meditating a lot lately. Really? Um, Me? I have. I have actually haven't been meditating. Oh. You should. It's good for you. Yeah, I don't doubt it. I shouldn't work it, man. You know, just getting the grind set in, coming home. I've been in the Iron Cathedral lately here. The Iron, you had the Iron Paradise. You're yeah. fucking pumping. Another one of the reasons that uh, where you don't have video on this podcast is that there's going to be a running bit um, to where when we eventually reveal ourselves, since you've never seen either of us on video, um, I'm, I'm going to be jacked. Uh, <laughs> I had no neither idea. of us. We are just associates of the Hot Estate podcast. We're just kind of they're letting us do our a, a spinoff show. Yeah, um, they're kind of giving us our bit our big break here. We we are. Uh, this is definitely this is actually not, no jokes. This is the filler show when there's not Hot Estate. This is probably what's going to come out. Weapons most ominous because we 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 are the weapons and we we're obviously most ominous. So, um, dude, have I told you about you're talking about meditating? And I, you know, I do yoga in the evenings. And I usually have like a YouTube. <laughs> you what? Wait. Hold on. Y'all listen. What'd you say? I do yoga in the evenings sometimes. Right. And there's, it's always like a, a really fit lady doing the, um, then the. Uh, Is she hot? 
I mean, she wasn't bad looking. I mean, that's part of the video, I guess. She, um, a lot of times I have like a, a really just like a, like, you know, a health conscious lady who's like, she has the crystals all out and she's like burning some sage or something in the video. Did I tell you the one that, the meditation she told me to have the other day? No, nah, no, nah, you, you didn't. She told me that when, while I was doing my poses, she was like, I want you to think to yourself that today you did enough. And I want you to repeat that to yourself the whole time we're doing this, through every pose. Today, I did enough. Why is that like, why is it always a focal point for like meditation and, and relaxation to, to come to terms that you've done enough? I didn't, I didn't like it. I, I literally, while I was listening to her, I was like, I'm against that. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally that. against that. I literally went to, I, I told myself, we're getting better. Yeah. I was meditating on that. I'm trying to get better. That's why I'm here. If I, if I did enough already today, I wouldn't be needing this meditation time. You know what I'm saying? No. I just didn't like that. I don't like, I didn't like that quitting attitude. She was kind of like, but she's doing it in a very like, this is so calming. You, you've seen past all the garbage of the day. You're, you actually did do enough. And I was mm. like, no, I'm, I have a roommate. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have a roommate. <laughs> I stayed up too late tonight. Yeah. I drank too many sodas. I did not do enough today. I need to do better. Yeah, I remember back when I had a roommate. You know, now we're recording this in my huge mansion. Huge mansion. <laughs> huge mansion. Um, I've cl- I've made it. This is just a passion project for me. This indie underground rap self help meditation podcast that we're kind of <laughs> brewing on here. So that is the podcast. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna review underground rap, meditate, um, self help, self help, alternative medicines. Um. And just so you guys know, we've already got a whew, the lineup of guests that we've secured for this show. <laughs> um, just because, through my connections, it's going to be crazy. Huge, huge, huge. What happened in New York the other week? I don't know. I don't know. I don't live there. It just looked like Tatooine. That's all I know. Oh, you're talking about when uh, they're hydro, they're like <laughs> they're hydro farming in New York, dude. <laughs> I think something was happening in Canada where something was on fire or something. I don't really know. Yeah, I saw videos of, of people being like, they started these. They started if you these can't fires. tell by the uh, how how we sound, we are uh, North American natives. We are. So we're, we're, we're from, we don't live in New York. We're from the mid south, though, for real. We're yeah, too, like music. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're too quirked up white boys from Memphis. <laughs> from Memphis, we like music. No, hey. I want to talk about that actually because I don't like every time I see a Memphis rapper like go on a um like a like an interview in L.A. or New York, they literally will just sit there and make fun of them. They're like, why y'all say music? And you can see the guys like Money Bag Go and, and guys like that just like kind of confused. Like, what do you mean? Why do I, why do I sound a certain way? Like, you want me to, ex- I don't know. And, and it's like, the other day I was watching one who was just bullying Money Bag Go. He was just talking about it. He's like, so, y'all don't know how right. to talk in Memphis. And I was like, all right, dude, chill out. Yeah. Um, Who's your favorite Memphis artist? My favorite Memphis artist? Right now. Ooh. Probably Drake. Um, <laughs> <laughs> probably, I'd say Drake. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Drake, yeah, Underground and from Memphis. Yeah, he's probably my favorite too, honestly. Um, what, what else? What, what have I been on? Do you listen? Do you ever listen to Audible? Uh, no, I don't ever listen this to This is ever. Audible. Then we can be listening to like a book about like, you know, suicide and depression. It's like a guy like, welcome to a new installment of audio. <laughs> but yeah. It's like okay, dude. I've honestly, uh, I've stopped reading lately, and I've just started thinking. You know, <laughs> that's kind of what I've been. I'm on only lately. thinking now. That's kind of what I've been on. I kind of, I've kind of been through the whole reading thing. So yeah, they say. I mean, they say you get what is it? Give a monkey enough time, he'll, he'll make a day. He'll make a day. Yeah. <laughs> no, he will write Shakespeare or something. I ain't never heard that. Really? Yeah. No, not and not a Shakespeare class. You never did. Heard that. Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah, so... How um, awesome was taking a Shakespeare class? Uh, by the yeah. way, in the Mississippi Delta, we went to a very small... Both of us went to the same college. We went to a very small college in the Mississippi Delta, and uh, Eli took a Shakespeare class. I was there as a... Basically an honor student through... I, I was going to Delta State through Oxford College. Oh. Um, <laughs> and I was doing like a, uh, a renowned uh, literature program. And it just so happened to be that Shakespeare was a part of it. Interesting class, read some interesting plays. Now, what's um, your degree in? Uh, computer information systems. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't finish the literature program. Um, 
I wrote a paper in that Shakespeare class saying that Shakespeare wrote a lot of anti-Semitic stuff. He did. And I just, as soon as that happened, I, my funding dropped. Who was the one that had to get his nose cut off? Wasn't that a character in Shakespeare? No, he didn't get his nose cut off. You're just thinking that because he's Jewish. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I thought that's what happened to him. No, he didn't get his nose. Nobody got their nose cut Who off. Who had to cut, like, flesh Merchant, off? You're thinking of Merchant of Venice, flesh, Pound of Flesh. Um, Why do you have to do that? God damn it, I'm trying to remember his name. It's some Jewish motherfucker. Shlomo or something? <laughs> Shlomo. Uh, shit, what's his name? Hold on, I'm getting Jamie on this. Yeah, get Jamie on that. Um, yeah, dude. So, you definitely didn't finish the Shylock. Sh- Shy- what? Uh, no, that's from Awkward and Hunger Force. It is Shylock. Shylock. He was a bad guy, too, wasn't he? Yeah, and all he did was <laughs> trying to collect on the debt that he gave Yeah, out. that he like loaned people money, and they were like, no, nah, we don't want to pay him back. Yeah. So that was the plot like, of the story. Yeah, um, they just kind of fucked him over at the end um, because he's a bastard, uh, apparently. You've been telling me that lately you've been seeing a lot of aliens on your like social media lately. Um, we talked about the one with the laser. That one scared me. That the eyes like New Mexico shine the lasers up, and like... They shine a laser and it like hits lights in the skies, and then uh, the li- this light in the sky like it looks like a star. But as soon as he shines a laser at it, the laser shoots back at him. Yeah, that's strange. It's almost reflective in nature. Um, so one of our hobbies is when we're uh, at my huge mansion, chilling, <laughs> drinking water and shit, and just having a good time. We like to browse the free Samsung network. Oh, um, yeah. On the TV. Yeah. And we actually, uh, we didn't watch it for too long because it was kind of boring. It was like a court case. But there was like a UFO, like, panel happening in like a full like, oh, yeah, session it was. live court. Yeah, it's strange to be seen on free Samsung TV. People but, should check out free Samsung TV, by the way. Yes. Highly recommend <laughs> The Minecraft you. channel. There's a Minecraft channel. They have a uh, prank. For all you history buffs, they have a full antique roadshow. No, that one's sick. I love um, Antique Road Show. Yeah. Dude, I really do. American My grandma Pickers, loves it, too. American Pickers. They have an American... I don't know about those two guys. Yeah. I like Frank. The short guy? Yeah, I like Frank. Yeah, Mike kind of seems like a pedo or something. <laughs> he does seem like a pedo ass. He does. I don't know, man. He just... <laughs> I'm not without making any rumors or anything. I, I remember you? being a kid and watching American Pickers on the History Channel, and, like, anytime they had their assistant... What was her name? The, the chick that was, like, tatted Dana, up. Dana, Dana or something. Dana, yeah. Anytime she was on the show with Mike, he was, like... Weirdly handsy with her, yeah, or very like, strange baby to girl and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, even when I was a kid, I was like, "Why? Why is he up? Why, why is he on her like that?" that? Yeah. yeah, I agree. You know, uh, also I've been seeing a lot of other than UFO sightings on my social media. I've been seeing a lot of Beetlejuice sightings again. Just hanging around. Yeah. <laughs> Are you talking about the Michael Keaton? Beetlejuice? No, not my. We're not talking about Beetlejuice from me. We're talking about Howard Stern Beetlejuice. Okay. He took Take a, a break. Take a break. Don't say it again. He took. Well, you know, he took a break. He took five years off. His who, mama said he had to. Who Beetlejuice? The Beetlejuice's mama said he had to. How old is Beetlejuice? I, like one hundred and three or something like that. He's oh. old, old as hell. No, he's cool. really, really old. No, he said he was eighty, and <laughs> he was on. He was a stern as interview, and he's like, "How old are you now, Beetlejuice?" And he's like, "I'm, I'm about 80. About 80. 80. It about says 80. mom was seventy five though. That is, yeah, okay. Dude, don't ask him. Don't ask him. You're going to be at the bottom. One of my favorite Beetlejuice clips is the one where they ask him how to spell BMW. <laughs> I'd be lost too, brother. <laughs> I, so, I, part of me, I really love Beetlejuice because he is he is legitimately funny. Like, I will say I don't really like some of the spelling contests I thought were mean. Yeah. I think some of the stuff was definitely mean. I don't think, I think it, some of that stuff got away from Stern because Stern used to be a jackass. Beetle, if you're listening at it, I think you're a swell guy. You're cute. And I you love for him to be on the show. Yeah. I love that. Hey, uh, let's keep the lineup in wraps now. We're just the first episode. What? And then we're talking about Beetle. I already got him in the lineup. Oh. Well, just, we'll, we'll cut this part out. Let me, cut that out. Let me put this, let me, let me jot down the numbers. Yeah. Okay. His, there's yeah. a time there. I like time stamp. All right. Good. Um, you take a second. I'm looking at the script again. Okay. We'll move on to the next topic now. We got to put some funny videos in these podcasts. Yeah. We love good, funny videos like a toddler driving around in a. I'm, I want to put that guy's that pants fell down while he's fighting at <laughs> gas station. Oh, I thought you were talking about. Uh, yeah. My, my co host here has been only sending me videos on Twitter of people getting killed or horrified. Okay. Lately. No, I. No. That's not the only thing I'm sending. 
I ain't seen that many. I thought of he was them. talking about the video that he sent me of a guy who was getting horribly gored by a bull and his pants fell all the way down. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then they caught on fire. For no, some they set the bu- No, those guys got everything they deserved. Those those dudes got everything they fucking deserved. So, because uh, I can't put this video on YouTube, obviously, I will. I will just tell the viewers. Just imagine this. In it's a bull. It's a bull race. You know, running with bulls, and before it starts, they there's like a bunch of guys around this one bull, and they set its horns on fire, and it immediately grabs this one dude and just starts fucking tossing his ass around, and then slams him on the ground, knocks him clean out. And his pants are also like ripped off of him, and he was on fire for like fifteen seconds, and he got everything he deserved. Yeah, that bull was headbutting his junk, bro. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. He was. He yeah. definitely got a hook like in his ass or near it, because I I saw that part too. I wasn't sure what happened there. Um, yeah, no, no, no. I'm talking about the guy that got in a fight at the gas station. His pants fell down. He okay. didn't care. Yeah. He just kept fighting. He's, he's humongous, too, dude. I'm talking. He didn't have to worry about anybody. Fight or his. fight, bro. If I'm in fight or flight, my pants fall down. I'm swinging, bro. Yeah, true, true. Honestly, that guy probably has more determination than I would, because I would have gave up as soon as my Johnson fell out. Yeah, but his belly was so big. I don't think he had to, he had to worry about it. You like Peter Griffin, like just yeah, stomach covers. Just it all. stomach covers it all. You don't have to worry about censoring yeah. or anything. I could put the video up, honestly. Yeah, uh, Jamie, I don't think there's Jamie, any. Throw the video up here. We'll do some pixelation or something. I don't know if you can put butt cracks in. I don't. Uh, I don't know. But I'm not. I don't really. Oh, I do have a video. I have a guy. We I'm can't not really watch. familiar. I, I just. I'm not really too. Fam- this is my first kind of stint getting into YouTube. I'm just not really sure. I gotta wait. I'm gonna wait because this podcast is going by about thirty minutes, honestly, because we got. We got. We're rushed. We're rushing. We got. We're not rushing. We're still good on time. It is Papa's day today. Yeah, it is. We're recording on Father's Day. Um, my estranged ex-wife and I not really doing anything. Um, but I'm kind of nervous. It's my first time hosting in this mansion. It's my first time being in here for Father's Day. We're having the fam over. Yeah. Um, Papa cooking good meat. Yeah, I gotta. Papa's bringing the meat. Gonna. He cooks Balls. some burgers or or something. Um. It's going to be a good time. I'm just nervous. I just, I'm really trying to keep myself together. Um, I have all the staff going crazy on the, on the sides tonight. <laughs> staff. Um, lawn was cut today. Well, I think we're just going to have a good time. Um, as soon as we get done with the podcast, we're clearing out the ballroom and we're just going to have the, the, ball? ta- the table set up in oh, here. I didn't know we're doing this in the ballroom. Yeah. Cause we're in the studio right now. In your mansion. Yeah, but the studio's in the ballroom. Oh, okay. So you're nervous about hosting tonight, though? I am. Sure. Um, I just have to impress these people tonight. It's important <laughs> for my career if I impress these people tonight. So, but, um, What do you think about moving into some uh, music review, just for a little bit, since this is... An do you have any music to review? Uh, <laughs> no, we really have an album ready. Minute Work. We're going to listen to Minute Work. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we'll do what? Jethro Toll? Yeah, Aqualor, Jethro Toll, <laughs> and Jethro then Toll. Marty Robbins. <laughs> Big Iron. Sorry, we're, uh, I have a record collection in the ballroom. Kind of three like, records, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> a, cl- a, a collection of three records on the um, bar in my ballroom. We could do books one day. I mean, you were yeah, already. We were, we were well read. Or okay, we were read. Audience, I think for our generation, we're well read. For all five people listening to this filler podcast, Tell us what books you want us to review. We'll read them and review them. Okay. If they give us a book, we'll review it. Yeah. If y'all give us a book in the 50 comments. 50 Shades of Grey. I might I'll read anything on. that y'all suggest in the comments here. Let me show you this guy, though, that this video. We'll, we'll wrap this thing up on this. Okay. Because this guy's good. And, guys, we'll refine this podcast. Don't you fucking yeah, worry. Yeah, this you is know the first episode. Take. You know how his take was. Uh-huh. We, it took us a while to get that thing ready and going. Once we get good and comfy on this web, it's most ominous. I mean, you guys got to get his chops. Yeah. He is, he is, you know. I've got raw natural talent, but I just got a home technique, so. What was I showing you? Okay, this guy, what's his name? Lawman Land. Who? <laughs> He's a YouTuber I found. I think we should. Uh, I will probably be able to put some of his videos in. I think we should review, like, uh, incel or low cow content on Twitter. Like or this? On, yeah, very similar to this. It's an it's a old man that's similar in build to Hulk Hogan <laughs> listening to uh, Sabaton while at the range or something. <laughs> he's always training. He's training for something. And um, he's always doing stuff with a bunch of mannequins. Like, here's another one. 
It's called My Manuscript. It's a good time to review the full plans on the screen. I'll put some of his stuff up while while we're watching it ourselves. Because this guy's pretty epic. What do you think? Hold on, I'm still just taking it in. We can't watch all this. It's over a minute. Hey, uh... Oh. This guy seems like he's, uh... He might be preparing to go up to a mosque or something. I agree, because he... He literally will go to he goes to the gym all the time and just starts lifting free weights, carrying a full full carry fair uh, full size carry gun yeah. on his waist. He does don't he, let him in. He'll work out in full body armor and carrying a gun in the gym like a like a regular ass like a uh, you know uh, twenty four hour fitness or something like that. That's uh, it, look alarm go off, dude. That's like that. That's a, I, and I I'm like we're people that are familiar with guns. Like I'm around firearms yeah. often. Our southern heritage. There are a lot of people with firearms right here. And I still, if I was... I carry two guns at all times. If I was at the gym and I saw a guy carrying a gun, like just sitting on the free weights, just gun on his waist, like I'm like, what the fuck are you doing here with that? But if I then saw him, like whatever he's doing with like nine mannequins around him, he doesn't even do it well. I want to say that. He's constantly dropping his magazines. (laughs) He's constantly fucking up. But I guess that's why he trained. I guess that's why he trained. Could be a honeypot. He could be a honeypot for sure, but or he could be the only guy prepared for the worst situation. No. He could be the only guy that's ready for Batman s combat with like nine guys around him. He just takes him on the stab. Sometimes when he pulls, he'll try and pull the knife out every once in a while. He always fucks up the knife. Before he pulls it out, he's like gets caught up on. Listen, the best. dude. All I'm saying is he'd make it. He'd make it further in a shooting than most of us. Yeah, he'd make it further than I would. Yeah, I would I'd get killed by the first cop. If there was nine guys around me, nine armed individuals, well, I'd give them what they want. Yeah. If I was in like uh, some sort of highway robbery bandit situation, I had nine guys around he me. He is preparing for like a highway, like a, like a night's highway robbery, like just a yeah. bunch of guys being like surrounded. Like your carriage gets stopped. <laughs> yeah. Is, that guy is, that guy is wild, actually. That guy's kind of crazy. I, I, I am kind of worried about him because he's, he, uh, like I said, I don't know what he's possibly training for. Um, and he just he kind of keeps putting himself in. I don't know. He seems like he's trying to be the uh, I'm the defensive aggressor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the, You see those guys all the time. It's like, well, they're being really aggressive. But then all of a sudden, they're like, they're waiting for you to do something, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, those guys also always talk like they're the wisest motherfuckers ever. <laughs> yeah, true. They like, I bet anything. he's got some sayings that he could tell me right <laughs> <He> now. Like... <laughs> What do you think his favorite movie is? I'm going to say Forrest Gump. Cobra. Cobra? Yeah. We watched Cobra the other day. That's pretty I like good Cobra. What we, watched last, what we watched last night? Tenacious D. We did Pick watch Tenacious Destiny. Destiny. Classic. Destiny. Classic movie. We were from, we should, we, White they, folks love Pick a Destiny. They do. White boys love Pick a Destiny. They love Jack Black. Yeah, I do love Jack Black. I'm a big fan. Had him over in the mansion the other night. Cool dude. <laughs> dude. If y'all can't tell if we're listening, it's just going. This is just going to be a it's recording whatever. of us talking to each other while sitting like uh, less than a foot from each other <laughs> into mics uh, in my that? mansion. So, what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just. We can do this all day. We could do this forever if we want to. Probably. But we're actually going to do this for about another thirty seconds or so. Because guys, what time is it? Yeah, it's five oh one. Five oh one staffs. They're giving me the signal. All right. Yes, yeah, staff's, staff's waving staff's us off. Giving the staff's signal. waving we us off. Guess. We gotta go. We gotta get yes, out of here. We got big soon. things to do. Um, Web is most ominous. More episodes might come out. This episode, who knows what's going to happen yet? Yeah, I'm not sure if this 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 might be chopped up. This might be just raw release. Um, just a, a warning. Um, next time we record, we'll definitely be moving towards the more underground rap motivation. Um, literature literature movies side of things movies side of things and you will be put on a watch list for listening to this no don't say that don dude this is true you'll be put on a watch list for listening to this but that just means we're that we're that raw okay shit i guess (laughs) we're that raw (laughs) i guess we're that raw folks um we'll we'll see you next time i love you what not you oh i love the listener